damn, what a mess. Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. Back with the Devlin. This is a little bit of an update for the owner. There was a few changes that I made, one of them not being the headstock change that uh, we we're kind of talking about. It's either I make this thing look like a, the end of a hockey stick, or I shave off this little nub over here. And it looks like a Jackson or an ESP. And I kind of want to keep it where it looks like its own little thing. So back here at the bottom where the Floyd Rose is, this is all taken care of. There's no gaps, there's no openings, all the wood is flush. Everything is countersunk the way it's supposed to be. Strings match up perfect with it at the bottom of the neck. There's no problems with uh, the Floyd Rose being shifted to one side more than the other. Both of these end up right deck, smack dab center in the blades. And we go up to here, and I'm sure the owner can kind of see that there's a little bit of a change over here and where this nut location is going to be. So the owner took the a router and kind of shaved off because this had a regular nut on there. It didn't have a locking nut on it. So the owner shaved it down a little bit of the headstock area where the nut is to make room for a locking nut. But it was a little uneven, and he's going to have to shim like crazy in order to bring the nut to the right height for the strings for the action well if you look at that let's see if i can get in there really tight and zoom in on that there you go so if you look at that that's quite a bit of shims right there in order to bring that nut up to where it's supposed to be so what i ended up doing is i have some pieces of maple and I stuck them in over here, glued it in, made it a little bit longer, started filing down this edge over here. So now this has a rounded taper to it, and the nut is completely flat. So if I put the nut on here, nuts all the way up against the fretboard. There's no gaps, no spaces, and it's even on both sides. So what I ended up doing is taking a block with some sandpaper on it and sanding this down a little bit at a time up until I got to a certain point and then stopped. So when I got up to a certain point is when I took my flat pencil, and it's flat on one end, and kind of went with the radius of the fretboard on top of the frets to the nut, and that gave me a nice little line on the nut itself if you can see that now that line right there that you see underneath each groove for the string is basically where it's supposed to be now give or take well actually it'll take not really give uh, I have room to drop this down a little bit more to get the action height of where I need it to be for this body for this guitar and yeah so she's looking really good and pretty much ready for primer so the truss rod cover you can see it's got a little bit of a curve in it too it matches the curve that is in the neck so when you put the truss rod cover back into place where it's supposed to be it still covers the truss rod you don't really see anything and by the time i get the paint on there you ain't going to see that gap or anything in there either now the reason why i didn't go with a piece of wood all the way across here is because the truss rod, the nut for the truss rod is inside there, but this is like a cover for it, I guess, and it doesn't move. Well, it sticks up a little bit higher than the, uh, I don't know, it sticks up a little bit higher. And the problem with it is, is I need to get a adjustment wrench inside of here. And if I cover this up, even over here, you know, even if I notched out for the uh, truss rod here, uh, I still would have a problem trying to get a truss rod wrench allen key whatever you want to call it inside here so I had to leave this open yeah it doesn't look right but it is right for what it needs to do and how it needs to be done in order to make this work properly so yeah the body is pretty much it's ready for primer everything's sanded I even sanded the control cavities and the uh, uh, back where the springs go I still want to try to dry fit the bridge on here the Floyd 
and see where the springs and the block end up. I have a replacement block for it if in case it needs it. I know the block that's on here is pretty big. So yeah, she's ready to go. The one thing I noticed with this is when I was sanding down the neck is if you can kind of see that the paint over here is up into the binding. Not much now, but it was a lot before. And you can see I sanded a lot of it down over here. But when you got over here going all the way down the neck, it was right at the bottom of the uh, fret markers in the binding. So I sanded it off to give it a full binding and that's what it's going to be like on both sides. So that's this. Yeah, knots in the wood, not good. These things here can and will crack. And what I'm going to end up doing, like right now, this one here, I can actually feel that there might be a little bit of a split going on. This one's all right, but you can see the cross already in it. Uh, fill this up with some CA glue and push that CA glue down into there so it shouldn't crack or split. But yeah, you don't want knots in your body of your guitar when you do a build. So I ended up throwing the 7 string up on eBay, and that was the ESP LTD M17. That one was the... Uh, wanted or not wanted seven string but I guess somebody really wanted it and placed a bid on it and bought it so I ended up getting my feedback for the ESP LTD M17 this is what the owner new owner had to say one of the things that I kinda hate are memes you know memes kind of tell a little bit of a story about a person if used correctly in this case they are used incorrectly. So Terry 3G's must not really know what a true friend is because a true friend would care about these things if they were an actual true friend. So Terry claims that he has said this for many years since being on YouTube. Well, being a moderator or general user, being on YouTube. Well. I know a bunch of people who can say different and also his Twitter account and other social media accounts also say different when it comes to people's looks, money. What? Yeah. What the fuck? So Terry says at the top, so true LOL. Well, you know it's not the bottom photo. Obviously it's a top photo for everyone who knows Terry. That's why his mother put him in the basement so she didn't have to catch him watching anything inappropriate on the internet. So Mr. 3 G says this. Pretty much this, I know my worth and know whom I am as a person, no matter how much P apples have tried in the past or even presently to show me in a different light. I am a good, honest, humble being whom cares. Yeah, right. No one's sleeping in your bed. You don't even make a paycheck. You can't barely pay your bills. Seriously? So Mr. 3 g says, yes, and I've seen a lot of this on YouTube over the years. Well, YouTube isn't real life. Just like in real life, you don't have friends. So Terry says, 100% fact, yes, this is why he uses YouTube. He must be meaning this for others, because surely he's not talking about himself. I bet you Terry got his ass kicked a lot when he was a kid. Just looky here. There you go, Terry. Now you finally came into reality about yourself. So I'd like to take this time right now and wish everybody a very merry, safe, happy Christmas, including you, Terry 3Gs.